Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Stay Connected with EVs. A little different episode we're going to have today. I'm excited because many of you have asked this question around the e-cells wired. What are the differences? And, and basically, that no one's been able to tell you, hey, I have a wired and I have the e-cells. And those who do aren't talking about it. They're usually influencers who have both bikes. They're afraid to go down that path. But I'm really lucky today to have one of uh, my subscribers here, Roger, who has been fantastic. I've been speaking with you, Roger, for quite some time, uh, back and forth with uh, your experience with Wired, even before you purchased the e-cell. So why don't you kind of introduce yourself and then go into how you got your Wired and your experience uh, owning the Wired and things that you've seen over time while you owned it. And then we'll get into the five-star uh, ownership that you got into also. Okay, well, my name is Roger, and I've got lots of uh, experience uh, in mechanical related uh, industries. I've been a tool and die maker for over 25 years. I've been a mechanic my whole life, and uh, I know how to fix things. I know what's good and what's not so good. Uh, just over a lot of years of experience, I, I know what's good and what's not good yet you know sure. some things are very obvious so that's that's my background I'm a mechanical background so um so you speak from experience <laughs> I speak from a, a lot of experience yes um uh you know the thing is uh I found out about that wired freedom bike and you know there was so much hype over that bike about the the battery power 60 volts and the amp power and you know the, the speeds that it can attain uh, 30 miles an hour plus and, and that's what people talk about and, and I kind of got caught into that and I thought well hey, you know it looks like a decent bike and you know uh, it's powerful it's fast but um, you know you watch all these review videos and I did that before I bought it and everybody was real high on the bike but the, the thing that they hyped was always the speeds that it attains and the battery power. And that was it. You know, they would take it out on, on rides on paved asphalt, flat surfaces, just straight riding. And, uh, you know, they say, look how fast I can go on a speedometer. And, you know, and that's all they really talked about is how fast the bike goes. So, you know, I, I got caught up in that and I went ahead and purchased one. When was and, that? How long ago? Well, uh, I, time goes by so fast. It's probably been six months now at okay. least. You know, Great. Right? They took a delivery late last year or very early this year. Okay. Um, I just don't recall right offhand. Sure. It's kind of strange. but uh, So, you know, I, I took the delivery of the bike and uh, pulled it out of the box, put it together, took it for a ride, and uh, on that first ride, I, I took it for probably 10 miles, 15 mile ride. And, and I decided to do some kind of high speed switchback maneuvers while I'm doing about 25 miles an hour. And that's when I noticed something very odd about the bike that it just, it felt very unstable and flexible and rubbery. And I don't know, you know, I, it didn't really dawn on me at the time, even though I did notice it. But the more I rode it, the more I realized there's something wrong with the bike, you know? And, um, what really caught me was one day I, I walked it off a curb, a regular, what was it, like four-inch, five-inch yeah. high curb, normal curb, and and that thing bounced like it was made out of jello. And and right there, it, it was a, it just it was a shocker. Right then and there, it hit me. I said, there's something wrong with this bike. And so I started messing with uh, seeing what was going on, and I found out that the 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 rear um, suspension linkage was just flexing significantly. Um, so I only had about 70 miles on a bike and I owned it for less than about three days wow. and I contacted Wire about it and uh, that turned into a big mess. They, Were they accessible they, like when you reached out? How did that go? Uh, you know, the first question I was asked, why did I take so long to... Uh, report this warranty claim, which, you know, is a warranty claim. There's, there's something defective about that bike, and it was very obvious. Yeah. You know, so I, I started looking into more, and, and I 
looking at the design and how it's built and even the rear uh, swing arm, the way it's built is, it's just not right. The, the tubing cross sections are pretty thin and they're kind of long and that contributes to the flex problem. You know, yeah. um, you know, I know they had a problem with uh, the rear wheel rubbing the controller box in the 2023. So they changed that uh, in the 2024 model, which I have. And, you know, they may have lengthened the swing arm and that, and it's, uh, that contributed to the problem because the, I believe the cross section of that tubing is very thin for what it should do. And not only that, but the obvious flex in the, the joints in the, the uh, swing arm linkage, it was bad. So yeah. uh, long story short, you know, I uh, filed a, a warranty claim on that. And uh, immediately the, the CEO of the company gave me a real hard time and it turned into kind of ugly thing. Um, so tell me about, wanna... tell me more about. You know, how was the, how was the bike, was the bike packaged fine? Was there's no issues in delivery, you know, when yeah, you opened bike, it? Yeah, yeah, the bike was packaged fine, you okay. know, and it uh, didn't look like there was anything wrong. And it yeah. looked like a nice bike, you know, out of the box. But when I rode it, you know, the first few miles I rode it, just straight, flat roads and yeah. nothing significant. But I started doing some quick uh uh, directional changes while I was riding. And that's why I noticed there's something wrong with this bike with the frame. Right. So uh, interesting. Now, the walking down that path, you know, when you notice the flex, I know you had you had sent me a video because you were saying, "Hey, did any of your viewers kind of see this?" And I appreciate that. I think you know that's really what this is about. You know, with my community here is let's talk about it. We're not here to bash someone or anything i think what it is is educating the customer and i think roger you, this is a great opportunity for customers who are on the shelf right now looking at a wired and looking at an e-cells and the reason why i'm saying this is you made the decision to purchase the e-cells five star and yeah. you know i don't think there's many people out there in the same shoes as you that have purchased both bikes that ultimately you were able to uh, speak firsthand, right? And I think you have no vested interest with e-cells or, fi or wired. Mm -hmm. I've never yeah, driven a, a wired e-bike. So um, I felt this was important for the audience. So walk me through, you know, what made you, what were some of the buying factors that you didn't want to walk into that mistake? I know you took a leap of faith going to yeah. e-cells, you know, with the same body frame, like, what was it that drew you to make that decision to move forward with the five star? Well, After all the problems you had with the frame on the the wired. Yeah, well, let me just briefly get back to the, the yeah. wire frame situation. You know, I, I made a, a YouTube video and I sent it to the CEO of Wired. And, and we're going to show that on, too. It's still up on YouTube. Uh, but, you know, it had no effect on a CEO. But the fact is that it has a one year manufacturer uh, warranty and this bike was not even a week old, uh, you know, and I discovered the problem in like a couple of days, but yeah. you know, I'll reiterate that he, he, I contacted him and said, why did you take so long? You know, if there's a problem, was but he hesitant into, to like send you a, a replacement? What did he say? Bring no, it in. What was he the... didn't offer anything? You know, he wanted. He said, "Well, we we exchange a lot of emails, a yeah. long email chain." But he, he wanted me to box it up and ship it back on at my expense. But it Ooh. turned into an ugly thing. Wow. And, yeah. Uh, you know, um, it just he didn't happily honor the warranty. He yeah. acted though I was making it up, and you know, he never heard of such a thing. And blah yeah. blah blah. Well, but I saw anyway, the video. I saw the video. And it was a little alarming, you know, even the uneducated eye, I was able to yeah. see what you were speaking about. And, you know, even when I was testing the Super Monarch, your video was in the back of my mind and I'm going, let me take a look at this linkage because I'm, I'm worried now, right? Because I'm like, are we going to fall into this with ESOS? And it was completely different knowing that that was addressed on the Super Monarch. I was fingers crossed that e-cells had it addressed in the five star um yeah. it why i think it's a little disheartening is is that i hope you know wire does stick to their warranty and i think 
not sticking to the warranty is a concern for the consumer. Um, I know I would be really upset. And not only that, to ship that bike back, that is a huge expense. Yeah, I looked into it. I said, I, I can't afford Oh, I know. <laughs> I've done you know, it a couple and, times. <laughs> you know, I, I, I will just leave it at that. And never, yeah. you know, it was a warranty issue that was very clear. Yeah. And it just didn't do anything for me about yeah. it. But, so uh, talk you to know, me. the thing was, Go ahead. after I bought that wired bike, I found out about the e-cells bike. And yeah. then, you know, I started looking at that and I said, well, that, that looks like a pretty good deal. In fact, it looked like a better deal. I wish I would have found out about the e-cells bike before yeah. the wired bike, you know. <laughs> sure. And uh, if I would have, I wouldn't have a problem with wired. Um, right. But, you know, so many people on this Wired Freedom uh, Owners Group, they, they got really upset when I started pointing out that their bikes are probably as defective as mine, but they don't know it. Yeah. You know, because all these people do is ride in straight lines on hard surfaces, and they never, you know, do any switchback kind of sure. maneuvers, and they, they don't know it. But, you know, the funny thing is that some people started uh, to make comments on that, a few people. So it, it's, it's starting to be known. Yeah. But anyway... Yeah, unfortunately, I think a lot of people have come to me and they've even said they get kicked out of the group. And, you know, it's unfortunate. Yeah, think, We're supposed to be a community. I think competition's good. I think everyone should have an open mind. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, they banned me for telling the truth, you know, which is kind of childish. But anyway, right. so I found out about the e-sales bike. And the more I heard about it, I said, this is a, a better deal, you know. And I said, I, I don't want this wire thing just because, uh, not only because it's not made well, but because I had a problem with the CEO that, you know, if I own this thing for a long time, what happens to the next time is not, he's really not going to want to know. And is it going to hold up? Know. Are you going to get hurt on it? Is it going to break? Is it going to fall? Is the linkage going to crack? Like, there's a multitude of things that can happen. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's not a safe bike to ride, you right. know. If you, you had to make a quick maneuver that they could flip on you, who knows? But, right. You know. I can understand your worries. I mean, I, I, I've i been in a lot of predicaments in my reviews where certain things that I've gotten on that I'm like, wow, this is really unsturdy or this doesn't feel safe. And riding a bike that you make an investment for, it, you really want to have that sense of, hey, I'm safe on here and I know yeah, what this bike can do. And the minute you have that doubt, it's the worst. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an expensive bike, yeah. too, you know. And, and the, for me, they wasn't stand behind their product. Right? Yeah. Immediately, they just went against me on it. But, uh, you know. So, let's talk to me about the five-star. So, full disclosure, so you took delivery of a five-star? Is that correct? And how long ago did you take delivery? Yeah, I did. I went ahead and uh, I... I, I you know, did a lot of research oh, and I reviews, know you did. <laughs> watching uh, the five star, and then you know it, it seemed like the more legitimate company, and the and the man that it runs it is is really has a passion for e bikes, and yeah. it's very obvious, you know. Yeah. So I did purchase one, and I took delivery of it just past Sunday, mm -hmm. and uh, I took it out of the box and assembled it, and, and I got to tell you, it, it, the quality of this e cells five star is just so much more obvious compared to this uh, wired freedom bike. Yeah. I mean, it, everything is more substantial. The, the swing arm frame uh, construction is solid. The tubing is thicker. Um, yeah. There's no flex in this thing at all. I mean, it, it's it's like a little race car that handles like yeah. it's on rails. I, I'm not kidding. Yeah. This thing, it rides nice. The suspension works better. And uh, it's, it's a more beautiful bike. It's the way it's yeah. crafted. It's just very, very nice. And I'm pleased with it. What color did you go with? I got the gloss black. That's what and I, uh, I ordered it with matte black wheels at first. And then I started seeing photos of this one with the orange anodized wheels. I said, man, that looks really nice. Yeah. So I, I tried to get a hold of... Uh, uh, e cells yeah. for a while, and I never could get an answer. But I finally did, just a couple days before it was supposed to be shipped. Yeah. And Mr. Cleveland and I spoke about it. And he was gracious enough to uh, change the order and okay. give me that uh, those wheels. He sent me an invoice for another forty nine bucks, and I, I paid it immediately. And yeah. it was seamless, you know. It's forty. So you cool. got? Are they the gold? Yeah, it is kind oh, of yeah. gold, but it's more like the orange. Yeah. I mean, that thing pops. It's a, it's a beautiful bike. Man. I had that on I the mean, Super I, Monarch, yeah. Very nice. It is really nice. But, Those colors are nice. 
But yeah. not only that, it, it's just made well. And, uh, you know, I got the set. I was going to order the 19 inch because I'm a tall guy, over six feet tall. Yeah. And I thought that would be appropriate because, you know, this uh, Freedom bike, it looks like it's probably a 19 inch, but it, it's a big, lanky looking bike when yeah. you really look at it. Um, so that, that might contribute to the flex, too. I don't know. You know? Yeah. But it wasn't designed well. Now, the 19, the 19 I have, and it is, it's a big bike. It is a big bike to handle. Um, it does feel very solid. Um, you know, my concern, you know, knowing what you went through and then, you know, you were asking me about the linkage and you're like, talk to me about, you know, I was worried, right? Because I'm like, if I'm going to go tell him <laughs> that this is, and I, I really felt good because if you look at Dave, the CEO of V-Cells and his background, he he's a perfection when it deals with, overdoing right it's it's yeah. you should always overdo to be safe than sorry right that's why he throws yeah. the helmet in the box and oh, things yeah. that no one does and my question to you is what were your thoughts when you were opening the box i always say this because it's kind of funny and seeing what was in the box because when i first opened up the super monarch i just couldn't it was like the gift that kept giving and i was like wow i didn't know it came with all this <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what it was. You know, I mean, it's packaged very well, just like any other uh, bike with all that yeah. foam uh, packaging and. Uh, but yeah, I, I kept pulling out these little goodies <laughs> one after another. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, it's a little tool bag, and yeah. oh, look here, it's a nice shoulder bag yeah. with a lot of zippered compartments. I mean, that thing is cool as hell. Yeah. You know, uh, and then oh wow, look at a helmet. You know, and that helmet's not bad, really. No. It does its uh, job. Know, it saved him. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's adjustable helmet. It looks pretty good. It's yeah. comfortable for me. I mean, it's a hel bike helmet, you know? So, um, so I'm surprised it didn't throw in a pair of gloves. And, uh, <laughs> Don't say it. He know. might do it. <laughs> yeah, but, no, it was very cool. You yeah. know, like, just like you said, it was like the gift that kept on giving. Yeah. And you know what was very cool? The very first thing I noticed on top of the shipping box before I dragged it into the garage Dave Cleveland himself signed it with a red uh, magic marker pen. I said, thank you. Oh, wow. You know, oh, that's right awesome. Right on top of the box. And, I mean, that's cool, man. Yeah, you that's know, awesome. You know, that, that actually so, is pretty cool. You know, so I like it that he, he's a hands-on personal guy, and he has a passion for the yeah. bike. Where there's wired people, they're, they're just out to sell bikes. And, you know, I, I don't know what some people say. You know, they got good service from them. But I right. can tell you, I, I got horrible, horrible service. Unbelievably so, horrible. So as a wrap-up, the way I see this is, you know, from wire to e-cells, what you're saying is there were uh, a, a very serious um, safety issue in the swing arm, and that was a big concern. Uh, there was a lot of flex in the frame as opposed to the the to the e cells five star. The other thing is you had a very very bad experience working through their warranty and they're not standing behind their warranty. Where obviously e cells has a fi uh, lifetime warranty on the frame. And I, I I know we didn't bring that up, but I'm sure that it made a big decision for you, right? I mean, knowing that you had so much flex, you know, uh, you lifetime know, warranty um, on a frame. I started to get the feeling after doing my research that, that E-Cells is, is more legitimate company and and the man behind the bike is, is you know, he's behind the bike. Yeah. He, he has a passion for what he Very does. Good. And, you know, uh, and when I took it out of the box and uh, I, I look at it today and I say, man, this thing is built well, you yeah. know. And I know that the man is proud of his, his product and he stand behind it and you know, you know, and he's a busy guy. He's selling a lot of bikes, and know. you know what's great about it? He's got a lot of different models too, and and you and so customizing. many options. Yeah, you know, and and so you can build yourself a custom bike. You know, and uh, th this is a real serious business. Nobody's wire. doing that if you think about it either. I, I'm looking at there's some companies they'll say two batteries or one battery, but nobody's giving you that kind that level of customization. You're right. I mean, I. I can't recall anyone because it's yeah, it's really it's hard. Cool. You know, I mean, you choose your color, wheels, a frame, uh, other options, uh, forks, and yeah. you name it, tires. So it's cool, uh, you know, the way they do things. Yeah. Well, Roger, I know you're busy, and I really, really appreciate this. I hope this was helpful to other people who are looking at uh, wired and e-cells. And, and um, Roger did a great job just explaining your experience, what you went through, and I can't thank you enough. 
Um, I do also hope you continue to have a great experience on, on the e-cells. And, and also, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time out today to speak with me. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad to do But just let me say, you know, uh, I'll reiterate that these people that are looking at these wired freedom, I'm sure that that's all they're doing is hyping how fast it goes and, <laughs> you know, the battery power. But they don't talk about anything else. And they need to know that. And they need to know that, the you know, the, the owner doesn't really stand behind the product. He's just, you know, shuffling these things out as fast as he can. But you know, getting to the east cells, that, that's a legitimate business there where the guy is, stands behind his product and he, he loves what he's doing and he's involved in <laughs> he it, <does>. you know, <laughs> and, and developing things to, to improve the bike. And, and, it, and that's a big plus. Sure. So I'm, I wish I would have found it. out about the east cells and bought that first because, you know, the east cells bike is really an incredible value for the price and compared to the other, uh, the wired, maybe it's about the same price, but, you know, they charge it for shipping, yeah. which uh, who knows what that is, you know. Right. Uh, so, yeah, east cells is far and away a better better product, in my opinion. I appreciate that. I thank yeah. you very much, Roger, and, and also thank you, everyone, for watching today. Leave me a comment down below. Leave Roger a, a comment down below. I, I hope this was really helpful, I, I, and I really appreciate him doing this and having this platform to share his experience. With that, make sure you click the subscribe and click the like button. You have an awesome day. Thank you.